We made good progress in the previous lecture. We defined our tab component as well as our tab content component and got rid of two of the warnings we had in the console earlier. We still have one more warning however, tab container is not a component. So let's go ahead and define that one and get rid of that warning as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new constant up here. I'm going to of course call this one tab container. That's just going to be an object and we're just going to have a render function to get something rendering at first. Before I go any further, however, I'm actually going to update my render function down here. Instead of just returning this.slots.default, what I'm going to do is change this to be a div and then pass in this.slots.default, which is now going to be a function. We're going to talk about this h function here and specifically why the arguments have changed in the next lecture. Let's just get this working for now and that's going to give us a good example to have a discussion around. Now that we have that, I'm going to use another very similar render function up here. It's actually going to be exactly the same just to get something rendering. Let's go ahead and export this and see if everything is working correctly. Going to jump back into my app.view view and import my new tab container component. So let's go ahead and grab the tab container component down here. The next thing we of course need to do is register it as we always do. And this should get rid of all of our warnings. Let's save it off and there we go. You can see it because I added the div earlier, we now have everything rendering in a vertical fashion instead of a horizontal fashion. And if we refresh the page, we can see that warning is now gone. We've successfully defined all of our components. One thing I'm going to show you here is one more way you can use this h function and in the next lecture we're going to do a deep dive into h and how it works. What I'm going to do is pass in another argument here. I'm going to give this one a class and we're going to call it tabs. Let's go ahead now and first check the DOM and see what we're currently rendering and then see what's going to change. At the moment this is the added div for the, for the tab container component. Remember this, let's save this one off and see what happens. If I refresh the page now, you can see we're now getting this class tabs rendered as well. So we managed to add a class to this div. I'm going to do a deep dive in the next lecture on how this h function works and all the different arguments it can take. So I'll see you there.